Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever on the North Atlantic map. Uh, you join me today staring at this bridge, uh, this bridge that should not exist, that cannot be permitted to exist any longer. There we go, I'm sure that was relatively inexpensive. Uh, no, that bridge uh, cost me two million to bulldoze. Uh, that bridge was across the Atlantic, uh, which is, you know, something that we said in the first episode of this series, uh, could not be permitted uh, to stand. So uh, uh, once again, it has been deleted. The, the pesky AI, however, keeps rebuilding it. So, I mean, what are you going to do? Um, yes, today we're going to look at North America. We're going to uh, run a high-speed line across the whole continent. Uh, well, we're going to go from Port Nelson up here, underperforming Port Nelson, uh, all the way down to Miami. Uh, and we'll take in probably Chicago and Kansas City and, uh, and Atlanta along the way. So without further ado, run the intro, let's get on with it. Now then, I describe uh, Port Nelson as underperforming because, well, it is. Um, it has the best goods delivery of, uh, of any station on the map. Maybe Berlin uh, comes close to it, but, uh, but fundamentally it... It gets such rapid deliveries of uh, of both food and fuel uh, that it should be growing like bilio. And yet, uh, as we can probably see, the Great North route here, 28 passengers waiting. I mean, seriously? I mean, what's, what's that in aid of? Uh, and then, when we look at the size of the town itself, uh, if we go via population, Port Nelson, 871. Small potatoes. Is what it is. I mean, there's, there's signs of growth going on, but I think part of the problem is that it needs to expand uh, its uh, its passenger routes to uh, to other places, which is why we're here today. Um, so, well, what are we? Which uh, which manner of uh, of train are we running here? Aren't these the, aren't these the uh, the, the speed dance uh, expensatrons? Uh, what have we got here? You're not you're not even going to tell me the model, are you? It's one of those. That's yeah, terribly, terribly helpful. Uh, no, we're going to have to look. Going to have to look it up. My familiarity is not uh, not particularly staggering. Let's go and have a look. Let's me uh, see. I haven't been here so long. I forget the flipping depots the other way. Here we go. Right, depot. Uh, by trains, and that's clearly a multi-unit. In your own time there, game. Uh, yeah, the game is starting to take a little while now to load things up. Uh, where are we? That looked like it. There. Yeah, it's a speed dance. That's the uh, that's the good one. That's what I'm about to start running down the down the, the spine of the country. This is supposed to be the thing that makes all the money. Oh well, never mind. Uh, right. So let's. I mean, uh, have a look at the have a look at the route. So I mean, uh, Port Nelson itself relatively straightforward. Um, we've only got the one passenger platform everything else is used by goods more than anything else and uh, since we're in the area this big boy here has been running for a terrific amount of time a hundred and twenty years and it still makes a massive amount of profit uh, obviously it would make a massive amount more profit if I were to, to replace the thing I'm just gonna keep it running uh, you know Wonder why the hell not? Um, no, in all honesty, I'll probably I'll probably switch it up when we uh, when we update our, our locomotives, which if I'm quick about this, we'll we'll get to today. So we're going to come uh, we're going to come flying down here, and instead of uh, heading off to uh, uh, Miami via the underground, um, where there's a high chance it gets snagged on uh, on goods trains that are heading down there. Um, Instead, we're going to use the uh, the overground service that we've got here. Now, if we uh, if we follow this along, this is actually pretty scenic as you head into Chicago. Uh, admittedly, that 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 tree is possibly a little close to the overhead wires. There we go into Chicago. Lots of lots of good stuff happening here. Oh, this is the only way to travel. Doing a doing a fly past. Brilliant. 
Now, this is a shared route, so there will be other trains on this route, potentially. Um, and they might not be the quickest ever, but this is the, the route that we've set out. This is the high speed line. And from that point on, I don't believe anything uses it. So we should have miles and miles of, of basically unused track that will take in some of the finer parts of the country. Um, and some of the not so fine parts of the country, but it's all fine. Everything's fine here. And then we get around to Atlanta and Charlotte. Uh, I don't, I'll slow down in a second and you can have a closer look. And then we'll take the spur out all the way down to Miami, which is currently running, what is the Gulf Coast? Yeah, the Gulf Coast, which is running at Miami. Um, so it's not that it will, uh, it will have a, a clear run. There will be most definite, uh, traffic moments that uh, that kind of get in the way but uh, I think it's going to work out just fine but then I would say that wouldn't I uh, right so we'll start in Miami uh, give me a I don't know why we've got this brown as a as a potential root color it doesn't do you any favors when it comes to actually identifying where any problems might lie and then out here to Atlanta We'll try and check that it double tracks as we uh, as we head along. Now that's a bit of a bit of a concern. Is that that's backing? So there's always going to be the possibility of getting held at a signal there, which is not exactly ideal. I might look at, uh, at making that a little bit more efficient. Also, we've got no signalling on here, um, but I'm sure it will be fine. Uh, there we are, Kansas City. Keep coming along, and we'll hit up uh, hit up Chicago. So yeah, this is really you know this is uh, American Express, which is what we're going to call it. By which I mean North American, as it as we do start in Canada. Uh, as you can see, we've got quite a quite a lot of uh, of goods and things to be picked up there. Now um, I know that causes great pain to people that there is so much stuff waiting, but if I were to run uh, the vehicles necessary to actually pick everything up. Uh, the odds are not great that the uh, that the frame rate would stay up as much as it is doing at the moment. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll maybe I'll experiment with actually trying to run enough vehicles to uh, to satisfy all demand. But I'm not optimistic about it. So there we go. This is going to be the American Express. American Express. Now I need something fast to go on here. And I'm also going to want lots and lots of them um, because you know it's it covers it covers a heck of a amount of distance. I'm going to use I'm going to use these uh, these pillar-based signals. Uh, authenticity be damned. I'm going to use these because I like the looks of them. Now, previously when I used them, that I, I I incorrectly uh, suggested that they were the reason that I was having difficulty completing my my. Uh, Great Britain route. It wasn't. It was because I'd screwed my route up. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna chance it again, and we'll see what happens. Uh, hello. What's uh, what's gone on there? No, no, you shouldn't be using the same route back and forth. Is it because where 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 where? What's going on here? Why are you not? Uh, why are you not correctly coming out? I guess it's because it's trying to. Um, uh, to avoid the backing service that hits Atlanta, that would be my that would be my guess. Right, where are we? Miami. Let's add a stop here. That one on the way out, and then after Atlanta, that one on the way in. There you go. It's not so complicated. Possibly ought to have some more signalling down here as well. Actually, there is there is probably enough. Uh, have that made you happy again? It has made you happy again. Well, that means that I'm happy again. Okie dokie. So, uh, now we're heading towards Kansas City. Uh, and, uh, more of the, more of the same, really. And we'll do the opposite signal coming on the other side of the, other side of the station. There we go. Yeah, so, I mean, this is, I mean... This route is almost certain to make 
halfway decent money. Uh, it may cannibalize the uh, the two routes that we've got, the, the clockwise and the anti-clockwise routes that we've got running on the inside, because it will be, uh, I should imagine, or I should hope, uh, a fair chunk faster than what we're running there now. Hello, who are you? Where are you? What are you doing? You're waiting for a free path. North American in city. I'm not certain you're on the in the right platform there, Chief. You're waiting for a free path. Yeah, that's broken. No, no, no. It's one way. That's that's what's going on there. What are you doing over here? This is not where you should be. And you're facing the wrong way. Firstly, how long have you been broken? Uh, finances. Just this last year. So, what you're saying is, just since I've been tinkering around with things. Because you should never get broken, because you're going one way on a one-way track. Why don't you turn round? Right, and go the right way around there. What's uh, what's your what's your dilemma? You, why don't you turn around as well? See if we can't find you a can't find you a path. I'm not wholly certain where I'm going to find one though. I must have some kind of crossing here somewhere. You know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick one in for the for the sake of simplicity. Get over there. Why are you giving me zero? Oh, it's because I've, I've chosen to go with ballast. Never a wise choice. There we go. Right, let's just make sure these two falls get clear. You're going to let the other one through first? Well, that's, that's, uh, that's jolly civilised of you. Completely unnecessary, but civilised nonetheless. Now, I'm going to replace these alcos at some point, probably with more alcos, but I've got a couple of variants now, uh, which might make them uh, well, a, a little bit more unique between one another. Um, I guess I need to put another signal in here then, don't I? And since I'm, since I'm you know, incredibly excited about those at the moment, we'll use those. There we are. Yes, you may well toot your horn. Right, off you go. Get to work. All right. I have no idea how they got stuck. And they'd only been there a year. Uh, oh, well, you know, baffling. But I think we've, I think we've resolved that. Possibly. You never know. Uh, right. And then we need a bit more signalling on the approach to Chicago, where it is going to get busy, because we also see uh, the, the kind of standard commuter trains coming from, um, uh, coming from Port Nelson hit Chicago, I think. Ah, oh, good science there. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure about that, because I, would, I was fairly certain I only went to Toronto. And given the... No, there is signalling there, so I guess I guess that must be right. Okay, right, well, look, we've got the signals up now. The, uh, the track itself is, aside from doing this odd little jiggle that it's got going on here which doesn't make any sense I mean I suppose it does oh maybe it does yeah yeah okay I can see what it's doing um, it, it doesn't need to do that though it's quite peculiar but hey who's counting right let's uh, let's put a few in motion shall we uh, right where are we engine of the shed uh, let's go with uh, a couple out of here. Now, if there is something better, something more suited to this rune, I could use those the, the lightweight GE, because that's always worth the price of our mission. What does it do? 160. Uh, ooh, I'm going to get into trouble for not having uh, switched back to miles per hour for this one. Uh, hold on. What about the HH, HHP? The high horsepower. Now, I don't, am I running any of those anywhere? I think I might be. Uh, what else have we got? Here's another GE. Oh, it's the same. It's the same. It's just a repaint. Uh, no, I think go fast or go home. Now we could, you know, break all the rules here, 
and uh, and throw these French. Uh, it says Euro on the side of it. I no people will be up in arms if I try doing that. Uh, so probably best not to. Well, I don't want to use the same loco setup as I have done previously, but I guess I'm going to have to. Why have I bought a train that's backwards? I mean, it's cool, but it is backwards. Maybe, ah, so that's to go on, on the back end. That's jolly good fun. Or oh, I, I, I almost, I, I, sh I should definitely put one of those into service. Okay, right, no, it's going to be one of these, but we're going to have, uh, we're going to bolt a couple of them together. I said we're going to bolt a couple of them together, thank you. Uh, and then we'll clone that a lot. That's a lot, okay. And then uh, let's fire them onto the uh, American Express. And then let's give it a, uh, a, a suitable colour for this line. Two hundred and four passengers. This can handle. This will this will clear some of the backlog. I'll be telling you. Uh, red, white, and blue is uh, is your American flag right there. See, I'm I'm culturally sensitive. We'll go with the red there of the red, white, and blue. Uh, right. Of course, Canada's red as well. There we are. Covered himself. Seamlessly remembering that Canada was also part of this route. I'm not seeing an awful lot of red on this train, however. But nobody's nobody's really counting, so uh, so that's all good. The only question's going to be how much of the uh, of the traffic that's already on this line is this going to uh, is this going to interfere with? Is this going to cause problems with? There you go. That's. It's a it's a pretty fearsome beast though. When you've got two of them to get to be honest, I think the calculation's wrong. You've got what's it? One, two, three, four, five, six carriages there, and you're telling me it's got a passenger capacity of a hundred and two. This might even be longer than some of my oil trains. And I'm running a lot of these. So to say that this is going to cause some traffic problems is potentially an understatement. No, it's not. That's no understatement. Right, turn it around. Go to the depot. Cancelling. Cancelling plan. Plan cancelled. Go to the depot. Turn around. Oh, we're going to have to do this with everybody, aren't we? Oh, we've broken it. Everything's broken. I was going to... All right, well, what are you going to do about that, then? Are you going to have to let everything out and then put them back in? I mean, what's, how's that work? You, depot. Depot. Go to the depot. Turn around. That's it. No. Depot. There we go. Right. And then you... Oh, I see. They've turned the depot thing into a, a depot button of, uh, of great repute. Right. You. Depot. Right. Let's try that again. We're going to run something completely different. Sell it. There are more in there. I know they're hiding. They currently live in live in a null zone, right? While that's while that's working out what it's going to do with its life, let's uh, now. Do we want to run? Uh, no, we've we've already got an Alco route, so I'm going to run uh, the the GE. Uh, or do we go with the HHPU depot? Uh, Two hundred kilometers an hour, which is about one hundred and twenty miles per hour for those of you who uh, who don't do the conversion. Uh, you depot, right? Okay, that was a that was an early misfire. Right? Okay, the the lightweight GE is slower. We're going to go with the HHP. Um, Oi, I don't know how many more of there them you there are, but get in there and get sold. Right? There we go. We'll go on one of them instead. You come on. Yeah, you're too long. You don't carry enough passengers. If you did, I would have no problem in uh, in putting you on this route. Now then, what have we got going on here? We need something. We're going to have an American passenger car. What do you do? 140. Nowhere near fast enough. 201 for yet more West Fleets. Seriously, is that it? Is that is that my choice? It's that or or get knotted, I guess. Well, that's rubbish. 
Okay, well, so be it. That's that's what we're going to have to take. These these buy levels are just not suited to the uh, to the setup. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's what one six eight. That might not be too bad. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, right, clone the hell out of it. What's that? Th uh, six. I want two more. There we go. Right, uh, set line. Uh, American Express. Right. I'm not going to change my mind. These are the ones we're going with. The ones we're going with are these. Uh, once again, the red of the glorious uh, Canadian maple leaf and of the stripes in the Stars and Stripes unified in the livery of a single train, which is emerging as we speak. Yeah, thanks, Autosave. You the man. These, uh, these coaches, of course, uh, for very short people compared to the train, which can handle a significantly taller driver. Uh, right, we'll leave them going. I'm going to, uh, for my next trick, we've got this number here, right? I've picked it at random. This is one of the most profitable routes I run, uh, the Atlanta food route. Uh, you know, it will do, I mean, it makes, on average, a, hmm, does it though? Every other year it makes nothing. All right. Well, clearly it's in need of a need of a, a replacement. Yeah, it's been running for six to seven years. Okay, fine. Let's get a replacement vehicle on the go. Locos, give me some big fat diesel goodness, if you would be so kind. I don't really want to run the big fat diesel goodness I have been running. These EMDs are also American, I believe. We could run those. That would be a bit of variety, except. This is a non-electrified route, so uh, we're not going to do that. So we've got the, the Dash 8 C40, 40C, you know what it is, better than I do. I'm not even going to pretend that I'm an expert. Uh, and then, or, they're, they're in the passenger locos, really, so we don't want to use that. I bought a couple of wacky shunters just for, you know, Good times. What else have you got for me? These are all European. Ah, that's no good. All right. Well, we'll stick with it. The, the, I, I, you know, I'm a, as you know, I am a sucker for for uh, classic American diesels. Um, and that does 113. You will do 105. Well, let's go with this. Right. We'll have two of those. Now, this was carrying nothing but box cars, and it had a capacity of 340 and change. But I do have new boxcars about. Look at this. See? 18 they carry. Versus the 12. No, that can't be the one I was using before. We could use these Chinese ones. I don't think that would go down well. Alright, yeah. Okay, let's mix it up. Uh, right, we'll have... Uh, let's have uh, a couple of those. Yeah. Alright, how many did you get there? What's that? Five. So that's uh, 100 and... No, it's nowhere near 100, you fool. That's 96, give or take. Uh, and then we'll have uh, some of these New York, New Haven. We'll have uh, one, two, three, four, five of them as well. And then a couple of these. Two, three, four, five. And some green ones. One, two, three, four, five. I should really do the maths in my head about how much that is. Replace it now. Yeah, it's thirty-six and a half million. I've got, you know, I've got a billion and change in the bank. I can afford it. You see how many of them passenger trains I just bought? All of them. That's how many I just bought. A whole stack. There we go. See, there's fun things to be had now in the replacement of box cars. Uh, turn the auto replacement on as well, so that it need never uh, need never run dry again. Uh, it's just a shame I can't get it going faster. And as was aptly pointed out, rightly pointed out in a in a recent uh, comment, uh, the big boy is actually faster than any of the diesels that I'm running, which is maddening and yet true at the same time. Right, where's it got to? Here's Atlanta. You're just sat there. Are you still unload? You're still unloading. Three hundred fuel on board. 
That's awesome. All right, where is the... Uh, here he is. Right, I think I've possibly over-egged this in terms of capacity, but we'll, we'll find out relatively quickly, I'm sure. Uh, you know what? We'll even, we'll even ride on board. A signal here would have been a good move. Or are we held at a signal? We are held at a signal. So which free path are you waiting for? It's because... Of, no, he's gone through a clear signal. Alright, what are you waiting for? Ah, oh, I hear something coming. It's going to be the, the passenger number. No, it's not. It's the big boy. Okay, fine. So be it. Such such is life. Say la vie. Look at it. That, I mean, that's, the, that's ancient. Belongs in a museum. And is still printing all the money. While this is languishing at a siding, waiting for a... Well, it's not even a siding. It's waiting on the main line. Uh, waiting for a track to its destination. There we go. Rusty flipping thing. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's ride on board. Because it's not every day you get to ride through, drive through uh, a landslip inside the tunnel. As is often the case, we have one in the tunnel heading to Atlanta. Uh, we'll get over it. Now, it goes without saying that this is going to make decent money, this particular trip, but, uh, but frankly, its turnaround speed is so slow uh, in the time it like, takes to get from one end of the, the route to the other that there's, there's very little chance that it, that it holds its ability to make profit for very long. It's coming out into the metropolis that is Atlanta. Now, I think Atlanta is, is somewhat hard done to uh, because uh, Charlotte gets the credit with being the biggest uh, city on the map and yet Atlanta and Charlotte are effectively uh, connected as we shall go and have a look after we take a look at this train once it's finished unloading which takes, you know, months. Now, we had a capacity of 378. What have we got after my ill-calculated set of wagons that I've stuck on there? 360. Oh, that's fine. Here we go. Look at that for a bit of a bit of variety. Nice. I think they're a little bit too shiny at the moment. Once they age up a bit, I think they're going to look terrific. Uh, right, since we're in the area, let's have a quick look at Charlotte. Uh, and uh, by which time we should be uh, in a position to, uh, to see our first uh, American Express doing its thing. So here's Atlanta, uh, here's Charlotte. Now, here's the kind of the city limit, I would guess, between the two. Is this going to tell me where it is? No, it's not. But growth is happening in a really weird kind of fashion at the moment. It's, it's, uh, it's behaving quite oddly because... I mean, where the, the, the peak of growth is around these, uh, these tower blocks. And this is the, uh, the, the kind of the, the border station that I put in, uh, which I've called Atlanta, but clearly is part of Charlotte, if you're going to go by, uh, by you know, residential figures. But hey, it's, it's doing its thing. We've, we've got an oil well here that's just, just sat there, having a nice time. I could possibly truck some of that over to this station here and uh, and double dip on the uh, on the oil train that we're running down don't know right where are we where's the where's the first high speed there it is what exactly are you waiting for it's got a full it's got a full load that's good. I was waiting for this, which is now going to get in the way all the way to uh, to Miami. Fortunately, it's the same locomotive, so it has the same, same top speed. But, uh, no, it doesn't, because it's running these, these bombardiers. I've got the wrong locomotive on there, you know. There's no point in having the one on there that I do have, because it's too flaming slow. Anyway, we have turned up 
on time and everything is glorious. Uh, and that will wrap it up for today. Uh, in the next episode, what we're going to do is, uh, is we'll continue to replace the, the goods trains that we've got over here in North America. Uh, and we'll have a closer look at why there are so many goods that are as yet undelivered. Uh, and see if we can't do something about that. So thanks very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, throw a like at this one if you enjoyed it. And, uh, and subscribe if you've not yet done so. To avoid missing out on future escapades. I'll catch up with you very soon. I can't, I can't not let the train go through, right? Cheerio!